Hello Reefers, um, this is my homemade O2 scrubber and it's also recycled as well. As you can see, this thing here is a H2 Ocean uh, fluidizer. Uh, it was in the garage uh, doing nothing, so I decided to make use of it. Um, it was a bit broken, uh, a few cracks on it, but I managed to repair it with this flexi housing, uh, which didn't cause any issues uh, once I started putting a meter in it. Um, so as you can see, it's recycled. Um, so once I put the media inside there, it should start to work. Um, as you can see, the good thing about it is the Delta X skimmer that I'm using, okay, has already got two holes as standard. <clears throat> so what I've managed to do is from an old RO unit, uh, rip off this device from the old RO unit and lo and behold, it just fits absolutely perfect inside the hole. Um, the reason why I've got a distance there is that so that if it does one day, uh, which will happen, um, over skim, the last thing you want to do is to prevent water going into your media, which can completely destroy your media and cause big problems. And it is a big risk uh, doing this O2 scrubber recycled, but it's the best method I can think of. So there we go. So it's so the Deltec skimmer, uh, which has got the... Um, uh, two holes in there. This was from an old RO unit, which I've managed to screw in, and it absolutely fits perfect. Uh, so the air will be coming out there, into the scrubber, recycled, into the skimmer, and hopefully that should uh, bring up my pH, which everyone, every reefer is at the, after at the moment. Um, so that's how it is so far. As you can see, it's not connected at the moment. Um, I've just disconnected it. Um, because obviously you can see the inlet pipe, uh, uh, the air inlet from the skimmer itself, it's uh, going outside. Uh, it's quite long a pipe going outside to get some fresh air in there. So that will no longer be needed. Uh, but as you can see, there's a plain, simple, easy as pie O2 scrubber um, with a leftover fluidizer uh, made within literally 20 minutes. So once I get the media in there, pH should rise a few digits maybe, and uh, the fish will be happier. And of course the corals. So this is uh, my tank at the moment. Um, As you can see, the corals are not happy at the moment because um, it's just so clean. There's there's so few nutrients in there uh, that I need to hype up the nutrients uh, for my corals to start in colour. At the moment, it's daylight. Um, as you can see, got some fuzzy sticks there as well. Um, very, very fuzzy with flow. Uh, still a bit more work to be done uh, in regards to the um, aquascaping. Uh, it's a very it's an unfinished project at the moment, but uh, everything seems to be looking well so far. Um, no algae issues, no diatoms, um, just corals that are going to be happy very shortly as soon as I raise the pH with the O2 scrubber. <coughs> The Soho tank, which is which is a new addition, um, tries to bully the powder blue, but the powder blue will not have it. King of the tank at the moment is the powder blue. This bristle tooth is possibly the best algae eating fish that I've ever come across at the moment. So I named him, or should I say, should I nicknamed him Dyson Hoover. So that's it for now. Um, once I get the scrub again, get the media in there, I'll post another video. That's it from me.